All right, now it's time to meet tonight's contestants who are hoping all to win $1 million. And they are Robert Johnson, Detroit, Michigan. Dave Rakowitz, Shell Knob, Missouri. Heidi Ricky, Newport, Oregon. Luann Mace, Mesa, Arizona. Americo Mariota, Miami, Florida. Maurice Ashley, Brooklyn, New York. Pat Spangler, Bethesda, Maryland. Elizabeth Snyder, Mason, Ohio. Scott McKee, Alameda, California. Vicki Kelly, Buffalo, New York. Okay, everybody, $1 million on the line right now. And here comes the first fastest finger question of the night. Put these movies in order by their theatrical debut, starting with the earliest. The Prince of Tides, The Princess Diaries, The Princess Bride, The Prince of Egypt. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest film, and it was The Princess Bride. Then The Prince of Tides, and The Prince of Egypt, and The Princess Diaries. All right, that's the right order. Who got it the fastest time? America! Come back. <laughs> Marico Mariota from Miami, Florida. He's a uh, teacher and uh, accompanied by his wife, Sole. Nice to see you, Sole. Hi, Regis. Nice to have you here. Just married a couple years now, huh? That's it. Yeah. yeah. How'd you meet? Well, initially it was a, a blind date set up uh, by uh, a friend of my wife that she hadn't seen in 20 years. They ran into each other at their uh, high school reunion. Mm -hmm. And uh, my wife was by herself, and she uh, told her, well, you know, I think I might have someone that you might like to meet. She, her friend was married to my boss. Uh, uh -huh. And uh, he set it up. He, and I, initially, I was hesitant. In fact, I canceled on him. A few hours later, I changed my mind. Mm -hmm. Went, and we absolutely hated each other. No kidding. Positively. Not a good blind not, date? Not at all. What no. was it? A, what happened? I just wasn't in no the mood. No chemistry? Frankly, no. Oh, you weren't in the mood? No, I wasn't oh. in the mood. Well, of course, that explains it. Yeah, well. If you're not in the mood, America, no, well, that's, what's the point? That's it. So, uh, but after it was all over, uh, we kind of decided, uh, you know, we didn't like the audience that both, you know, both uh, the other couple. Uh, no. You don't like friends. anybody at this point. I don't know. <laughs> just wanted to have a drink in my dinner and go. Sure. But uh, anyway, then we talked and uh, we decided, well, let's give it a try without the audience. Second and, and date. At least, a, yeah, another shot. Yeah. And on the second date, by the time the date was all over, we pretty much decided that that was our future, being together. You were going to get married. And we got married 10 months later. No kidding. Well, no. good for you. That's nice. Nice story. See? Yeah. At first, if you don't succeed, absolutely. go home, have your drink, have your dinner, and go home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Americo, it's good to have you. Americo is a uh, school teacher, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute, okay? okay. You know the rules, you know about uh, your lifeline, so let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Americo. Mario. Here we go for $100. A task that has been forgotten is said to have fallen through the what? Cracks, slats, walls, sofa cushions. Uh, I believe that would be a cracks, Regis. That's final? the final answer. Yes, indeed, it's the cracks. Two hundred dollars right now. Boob tube is slang for what? Movies, subway, television, Baywatch marathon. <laughs> I won't touch that. You better uh, not. C television. Final answer. Right, television. Boob tube. That's what they call it. America calling for three hundred dollars. Which of these items is considered to be a toiletry? A bathtub, toothpaste, paper clip, Reader's Digest. Uh, that would be B. Toothpaste. Final answer. Yes, indeed, toothpaste. Toiletry. Up to five hundred dollars. Rotating a kaleidoscope allows the viewer to see different what? Constellations, photographs. Patterns, distances. I believe that would be C patterns. Final answer. Yes, patterns. Five hundred.
Okay, Marigo, here we go for a thousand. Which of these words, vowels, appear in perfect alphabetical order? Facetious. Cauterization. Abignation. Pasteurization. I believe that would be A, facetious. Final? Oh, final answer. Got it for a thousand dollars. All right, America, got through those first five. Now here comes uh, the one for two thousand dollars. Check it out. What does a male moose shed once a year? Tail, hooves, teeth. Antlers. Male moose uh, sheds the uh, velvet on the antlers, so I would believe that would be D, antlers, final answer. Yes, sir. Antlers. He's up to $4,000. In 1912, the Titanic sank in what body of water? Mediterranean Sea, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Gulf of Mexico. C, Atlantic Ocean. Final answer. Got it for $4,000. He's going for $8,000. The logo for the board game Candyland consists of letters formed by what candy? Chocolate bar, candy cane, licorice stick, lollipop. Well, my first instinct, and I guess I, good idea to go with that. Um, Are you familiar with this game? Uh, actually, slightly. Not too familiar, but slightly. Well, I'm going to... You got lifelines. Yes. to go with my first instinct. Are you? Yeah. Oh, America, I hope you're right. Okay. You, you mean both. <laughs> you know, you could, you could pull the audience, yeah. you could call somebody. No? Okay. Or you could 50-50 and see if your first instinct is still there. Let's go with uh, B, Candy King. Final answer. That would be my final answer. Yes, America, for $8,000. Guts ball all the way. He's seven away from the million. Here it is for 16000 In 2000, a 48-foot stretch of what road was brought to the Smithsonian National Museum of American History? Rodeo Drive, Pennsylvania Avenue, Pacific Coast Highway, Route 66. This one, I'd like to use a lifeline. Is... Okay, sure. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and poll the audience. Want to poll the audience? We can do that. America needs some help, audience. In 2000, 48-foot stretch of what road was brought to the Smithsonian National Museum of American History? If you're ready, on your keypads, Using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, uh, majority says uh, Route 66. Well, I'm gonna have confidence in the audience, okay. and I'm gonna go with D, Route 66, final answer. Thank you, audience. He just won $16,000. When we come back, he goes for $32,000. Americo Mariota from uh, Miami, Florida. He's an eighth grade uh, social studies uh, teacher. Now, you didn't tell your class you were coming, did you? No, I did not. Why? I, I, was, I really wanted it to be a surprise. Uh -huh. I didn't want to wait for the actual airing of the show and, and then tell them that I was going to be on it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. How are you feeling? You feeling lucky? Absolutely. Extremely lucky. And you brought your good luck charm, of course. Sully, you yes. say, is your good luck charm. Absolutely. Yes. Sully, that was some story about how you met and then on the second date decided to get married. 
Huh? He yes, must have just swept you off your feet. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> yeah. And then you were going to be here uh, earlier. Yeah. But you promised uh, Soli you were going to take her on a Prom honeymoon promised trip. I was going to uh, take her to uh, Scotland. Mm -hmm. uh, I got called to come on the show on a Tuesday, and I was leaving for Scotland on Friday. And I told the producer, sorry, but, you know, my wife comes first, so I guess I'll have to pass. <laughs> Very nice. Did you have a good time in Scotland? Excellent time. Beautiful yeah. country. Well, that's good. So we all finally got together anyway, yeah, right? Yeah, it worked out. All right, so here you are. You've got to get to 32,000. You know that. You've got two lifelines left, six away from the million. Let's play.